This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're continuing on our series of comparing the kinematics of the F-22A Raptor and SU-57 Felon in the ECS world. These are the mods by Cuban Ace and Grinelli with modifications further by Nightstorm to have it working in DCS. If you want to install working versions of either of these mods, please look in the video description. Today we will be measuring the maximum speed of each aircraft at first sea level, second high altitude. Now that high altitude is going to differ for each aircraft. We will find the maximum speed at the optimum altitude for each aircraft and that's going to take a few tens of minutes of messing around trying to get them exactly at the right altitude but that's what we're going to do. In terms of test parameters our usual rules apply. Environment, ISA, conditions, internal fuel load 10% with fuel burn turned off. Both aircraft drag index equals zero. Here is the current information. So low altitude, the King is currently the ADS 37 at Mach 1.32. Obviously, we know this aircraft is configured for low altitude speed. Then the F-14B, high altitude, MiG-29, we get the fastest, although we're pretty sure that this is simply because the model is not realistic. Again, F-15, SU-27, SU-33, we're pretty sure these are not realistic. Or maybe the F-15 is, but certainly the three Russians, we're pretty sure are not realistic. So let's start with the Raptor at sea level. Okay, chaps, as my favorite radio DJ once said, let's rock. In terms of readings and data, along the bottom you will see true speed in knots, TAS. That will be our reading. Note there is no wind on today. Six. Okay, this one's probably going to be a bit of a handful, but let's give it a go. Felon at sea level. Listen to those burners. Oh, she's... Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> I have to come off her. Stop it! Right, that was weird. Let's try that again, shall we? Possible to handle the power. Oh, this is stupid. One eleven sixteen, one eleven sixteen, that's a fast jet. Next to Raptor, and we're going to try and find the best speed per altitude. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to try the maximum speed at intervals of five thousands of feet, starting from five thousand, and find out where I find the maximum. It's going to take a long time, so I'll just cut to when I think I found the maximum speed. Welcome back, viewers. I've just been playing with various altitudes uh, to keep them the VSI as centered as I can, and the best I got was actually fourteen twenty TAS at about 38,000 or whatever I've got there. I think that's the best we're going to get. Okay, it seems to be peaking out at 1915, 1915 TAS, which is extremely fast, at just over 40,000 feet. Welcome to the results. So, low speed outcomes. SU57 mod with various test parameters we've talked about. Uh, 1126 TAS giving us a sea level spaxon speed of 1.69 local Mach. Uh, we have the F22A Raptor 796 TAS, a local Mach of 
to zero. Next, we have the high speed roughly worked out. We have the F22A mod. I found it roughly about 38,000 feet with 1420 TAS, a local map of 2.48. Uh, SU57, about 41,000 feet, 1950 knots, a maximum speed of 3.3. In terms of realism, the Raptor looks roughly where I think it should be in the ground at least, about 1.2 at sea level. I'd imagine that's about right. Up altitude, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I, I, I don't know. As you know, I don't know. But presumably, I think that's a little bit far. So I'd say more like just based on, its, on the rough data, I see about 2.1, 2.2, I imagine would be for altitude. SU57 Felon, I almost certainly it does not achieve Mach 3.34. Now, there are 101 reasons why not, but at the very least, it would just burn its own stealth coating off. So that's highly unlikely. And at low altitude, Mach 1.7 nearly, I don't think anyone, any plane in the history of the world has ever managed to achieve that. It's highly unlikely that a he very heavy stealth plane would achieve that. I hope that was useful and see you later.